Okay, so now we're going to start the 3D part, enough with 2D. So we'll get to the next module, which is the bonus tools and 3D modeling. 3D modeling is really based on 2D modeling to begin with, and just we add another dimension. So I will need to convert this line into something 3D. I'll go to convert elements 2D to 3D lines into a single polyline, I agree, and just select this polyline. What just happened? It says now 3D polyline instead of spline. Maybe this is not that relevant. We will choose now from window, 2 plus 1 animation window. So we see here a line which is exactly at zero depth. This is a front projection of it, and this is a plain view. Okay. But before converting, I'll go back to 2D. I want to make a construction of it. So I want to make it to have a, a certain uh, thickness. So if it's 2D, we cannot see it in 3D, obviously. We'll go to back to basic, uh, parallel lines, and I'll create an offset with measuring 0 0.15 inside one parallel. And then I'll just connect this. So I want to make a 3D surface instead of a, a, just a 3D outline. And I'll connect this spline. I really need it to be enclosed. So this has to be closed in order to be able to generate a 3D surface. So I'll go back to bonus tools and here we'll say convert elements 2D to 3D lines. Select it and now I get this 3D outline and from this to generating a 3D dome is just one step and the step is to create a rotation uh, to rotate select outline to rotate this is the outline point 1 of rotation x and point 2 can be any point and now it will generate a rotation uh, element I can input an angle a uh, number of interior profile and I can choose whether I need a closed volume or only the exterior shell. I'll just leave the default option and hit escape and I will obtain a hat. Okay, in order to place it on the ground I'll do a 3D rotation. The rotation and any manipulation function which is available on 2D, 3D or any element is on the right side. So we used before the stretch entities, the copy and mirror, the copy, the move. Now I'm going to use rotate and see freely in 3D. Select this hat, mark two points to know around which axis to rotate, 90 degrees and enter. And this is the hat. Now I can apply a texture to it. If I double click on it, I can go here to surface. Uh, I'll go to Office, third year edition materials. Uh, let's say I can make it uh, masonry. Hit OK and enter. And now it will look more interesting. This is a 3D object and I can do any 3D operation I need, any boolean operation. For instance, I want to subtract the top. I can insert the cylinder with the option cylinder, input a radius, let's say 1 meter, no, 0 0.5 the radius. And then in this isometric view, draw the cylinder. So now in 3D, I can work in any window that I like. And actually, if you have more than one monitor, you can move any monitor on a separate monitor, each of the, these screens and work in up to 16 monitors. OK, so now in order to subtract, I'm going to use subtract and remove solids. I select this hat, the cylinder, right click, and I get this hat. What we see here is the initial uh, helping line. I can delete it, I don't need it anymore. And also, if I want to start doing cuts through this object, I can just say um, slice, do a click here, 
and select points that are placed on the same level. So I can choose by which plane, plane to delete it. So for instance, this part I can make it into concrete. I hit enter. So this is already a volume that I created just using this rotation starting from a 2D object. And this is the way we work. We switch between plans. We have we usually work in three windows and we just choose the projection. So we can work in plane or watch it from the front from an isometric way or rotate it through this animation. 